Right, from their starting point at the base to the rescue in the Smokies and then finishing at the hospital, the Tennessee Army National Guard conducted two separate rescue missions in one day. Reporter Sarah Oppman spoke with the pilot of one of those rescue missions to learn what happens behind the scenes. Sarah. Katie, these missions are always a race against time, and the National Guard has a routine down to a science. This was actually the one that was on the rescue, both rescues on Friday. The Army National the Guard is always prepared for a rescue there. mission. So and for the first time, they were called to action twice in one day for separate emergencies. We had a patient up at Lacan Lodge uh, that was having some respiratory distress. Uh, they were concerned about uh, needing some oxygen and, and trying to get the patient back up off the mountain. Only two hours later, Major Hewlin Holmes was notified again for a hiker in cardiac distress. So they, based off their assessment, realized that this could potentially be a bad situation and needed to get another extraction in. So we brought it was about half the same, same group that was on the first one and changed out some of the pilots and, and executed that one too. It took under three hours from the moment the alert was received to their arrival at UT Medical Center. We don't have people on call. Uh, so it's more of a volunteer thing and, and people will rush in, uh, jump on a military status and, and go execute that mission. While the park handles the majority of medical emergencies, this team steps in for the most critical cases. They will only call us for that life, limb, eyesight threat. Um, if, if that's not the case, then they're going to use a ground extraction and they're going to get the rangers up there to, to get them out. It's not only a life-saving resource for the community, but a valuable training experience for the unit. Uh, the, the training value is incredible, and, and, the, and the guys love being able to provide this service to our community, and it's, it's huge. Three aircraft rescue missions were conducted by the Tennessee National Guard this year, and seven in the past 12 months. Katie. Sarah, thank you.